The X3 is BMW's best-selling vehicle hot off a mid-cycle refresh for the 2022 model year, the venerable small luxury SUV is plenty sporty and fun to drive and it offers reasonable storage and fuel economy as a five-seater, two-row vehicle. The X3 sits between the compact X1 and the larger X5, which offers optional three-row seating. 2022 brought a number of changes to the X3 including updated styling, a streamlined trim lineup and an upgraded user interface, given the breadth of adjustments made for last year's refresh it comes as no surprise that the 2023 X3 carries forward relatively unchanged. Traditionally sports sedans have been the vehicles that best projected the spirit of the BMW brand, not so much anymore. The 2023 X3 SUV edges in on its four-door brethren's territory with a satisfying blend of refinement and driver engagement, as its name implies the X3 is the crossover equivalent to the renowned 3 Series sedan and it shares its powertrains with that car. Entry-level models are powered by a 248-horsepower turbo 4 while M40i models get a boost from the company's revered 382-horsepower turbo 6 an engine that never ceases to amaze us with its velvety muscle. The x 3 spacious interior is soberly styled but lined with premium materials and desirable technology, but it's the X3's frisky handling that endears it most to enthusiast drivers like those on our staff and, as an added bonus its athletic road manners don't compromise its genteel nature. When cruising nor its all-around SUV practicality. With the 248-horsepower turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder under its hood, the rear-wheel drive S-Drive 30i and all-wheel drive X-Drive 30i provide enough power to comfortably negotiate almost any traffic situation, but they're hardly exhilarating. At our test track the X-Drive 30i required 6.2 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour, we haven't tested an S-Drive 30i model. Those seeking a performance-oriented crossover will find the X3M40i a lot more to their liking, its muscular 382-horsepower turbocharged 3.0-liter inline six-cylinder engine provides almost brutish power, delivering a 4.1 second 0 to 60 miles per hour time in our testing. The X3 actually feels more competent than some of BMW's current sedans, it's fun to drive and willing to arc around corners better than expected although it doesn't quite offer make-in levels of athleticism. The ride quality is well balanced with just enough firmness for a sporty feel without resulting in a rough ride over bumpy road surfaces, our test vehicle came with an option we highly recommend, the adaptive suspension, called dynamic damper control it adds comfort, sport and eco pro driving modes to the xDrive 30i. The X3's stylish interior comes well equipped before you check a single option box, 10-way power adjustable front seats which include adjustable side bolsters, make it easy to find a comfortable position. Rear seat occupants are treated to reclining seat backs and the cushioning on all seats is plush enough for long journeys, the rest of the X3's cabin is handsome and put together competently, with well-chosen materials and tight panel gaps. The glossy wood grain trim on our test vehicle looked and felt real despite being plastic, the stitched faux leather dash and door coverings add an extra element of luxury, as do the nickel finish metal trim. The X3 is about average for the segment in our carry-on suitcase test, seven carry-ons fit behind the second row enough for each occupant to have one, with room left over for two extras and 20 fit in total with the rear seats folded, the cargo hauling champ in this segment, however is the Cadillac XT5 heavy haulers should put that one on their shortlist. BMW's iDrive interface provides everything a modern luxury car's infotainment system should, a 10.3-inch infotainment display is standard in features in dash navigation as well as Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. A larger 12.3-inch infotainment display is optional, Bluetooth phone connectivity, a Wi-Fi hotspot and one USB port are standard, but every other infotainment feature is offered as an optional extra for those looking to juice two devices at once, a second USB port is optional as is a wireless smartphone charging pad.